Today, I'm doing some carbon fibering. I'm gonna take this panel here and I'm gonna wrap it. Let's see how it goes. All right, I believe to take this off, it's okay to just either get your nails behind it or, oh, here we go, that, straight off. So I'm just gonna go at these screws here and then I'll be able to remove this panel without having to unplug anything, meaning the battery can stay connected. All right, got this Allen key, T10 if anyone's interested. And then just whack these out. Let me put a bit of fast forward. Simple as that. What I do with the screws just to not lose them. We'll whack these in the back. All right, so we're not losing those screws now they're in place. We're gonna go in the garage and get out the cold and then we're gonna try and remove the silver trim from around here. Carbon fiber wrap underneath this trim. Let's try it. Looking at the back, they pop forward and it seems to be there like in each corner there's a little tab so i'm going to use a little screwdriver push them all in at once if possible and see if it pops out it's quite cold today um so what i'm just applying a little bit of heat onto the plastic to hopefully make it a little bit more flexible and i think that's the secret to getting these little prongs to release from their housing. You know, not too hot because it makes the plastic brittle if you do it too much. But the same again. I'm gonna go from the top one. Yeah. And then I just use the other one to push down the back of that plastic just to get to pinch off like that. I'm just going to use a bit of white spirit. Um, I find that using white spirit on plastic can sometimes leave it with a matte appearance, which in this case is okay because the, the panel is already matte. If you have a high gloss finished dashboard and you want to preserve that underneath a wrap, I would advise to use a different kind of alcohol solution. Yeah, be careful when you go around this area just to not get any white spirit onto the two, I think it's the temperature gauge and the fan speed on these two parts and I just don't want to dull the appearance of these down and then we can leave this to dry whilst we then put our Yanni hat on and get ready to wrap this thing you're probably not wondering why I've got so much carbon fiber wrap but if you were it's because I got another project in the pipeline I'm going to be wrapping the back of my Sabal chairs if you want to watch that give me a subscribe help me out but for now, let's just get this cover wrapped up. First time wrapping something for a while. I ain't a wrap star, but I have been watching Yanni and he does say keep enough material that you can pull it around. Just give it one more dust over just to make sure there's nothing on the surface here. I'm gonna pick this up and then start applying it, I guess. And I'm gonna work from the, I'm gonna work from the center out and just hopefully this will mold to shape that is just something we have to figure out as soon as you start putting wrap on that's when you realize how complex a shape is like for example now I'm trying to go around the dial what i could do with this youtube stuff is any of this that doesn't work i'm just going to make a completion of videos that i've tried to do and videos that haven't worked but oh hang on a sec maybe it does it just needs a bit of heat to apply it maybe I suppose it's good to see how this can be butchered and it does show the value of getting someone knows what they're doing to wrap your stuff for you because this is hard. I thought it was going to be simple. I'm, ha I'm happy to be doing this before I'm starting the chairs, to be honest. Um, I think I've got a better way of doing this now. I was really struggling to get this to kind of adhere down, especially where there's quite a lot of pressure where it follows the curvature of the panel around, like here, for example. Um, I've just watched a few videos and it turns out you can be really rough with this vinyl. So um, what I'm doing is just dragging it over to the edges and I've got it roughly where I want it to be without the crease marks in. 
And then as soon as I cut the little release here, where I've realized I'm actually making some progress. So it's not perfect. There's some, there's some little imperfections in here already. Um, so I just thought I'd film it and see if I can get this part sorted out whilst it's on camera. One of the tricky things with doing this is that every time you heat the vinyl up, it likes to return to its original state, which means every time you tuck something over on one part and you start heating up somewhere close to it, it will likely untuck itself. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one now. I think it's the right thing to do. What I want to do is leave enough on here so that I've got something to grab onto and pull. There's a chance that I've actually got too much material hanging in here possibly, but I do believe these little cuts here are actually helping it go down. So I'm gonna keep that. But I don't wanna to come too close to the surface because I don't this one doesn't really have a cover to go on top of it. I don't know how, all of a sudden it just started coming together. Um, I didn't really do anything specific, I just kept playing with it and uh, heating it up. The heat definitely stretches it in the right places. Um, I did have a quick watch of a YouTube tutorial and uh, the one bit of advice that really helped me out here was start from the centre and work your way out to the edges. Um, it's not perfect by all means. I can, in fact, I can see bubbles in it now that I cannot get out. If I can, that'd be ace. When I started this video, I really didn't think this was going to be usable, but I'm actually happy to use this in my car. I'll, I'll do a close-up shot of it after with the imperfections. But I think the hardest thing with wrapping is actually the tucking process. You've got to leave enough on there so that it actually sticks to wherever you're trying to tuck it around. But additionally, you've got to make sure that it's not too much that you can't use, not can't use it, but you've got to make sure that there's enough space for whatever it is you're clipping it back onto. I think I can see where the artistry in this is. A good wrapper is somebody who can look at a bit, a bit of sheet material and uh, predict the behavior of that. I think that's where the, where this is quite fascinating. I mean, on first glance, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, obviously I need to put the inserts back on and they usually look better once it's back on the, on the car and it's got the dials in place to install that little tab bit face down into the channel that it comes with. Point, I'm gonna point out a few of the things that I've done wrong. Uh, if I was doing it again, I would do better. So when I cut out these holes, I don't think I left enough wrap in there. You see how it's only just tucked over and it hasn't quite made it through to the other side. I think if I did it again, knowing how flexible this wrap is, I would definitely change that. It's a bit embarrassing to show you this, but I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Maybe there's a better way of doing this. I can't imagine any installer leaves their work like this. And see how it looks in the car. Let's have a go. Well, with that as it is then, let's offer that up. Well done, I've just offered it up in the place. I've done some big problems with actually getting the buttons to work because the extra, see like that there, didn't pop back out properly. The extra width of the wrap around the buttons makes it incredibly difficult for the buttons to pop back out sadly. What I've just been doing with this orange thing is well on this side it was working fine but just threading it around there so I'm going to touch it on that side but on this side just like this just to try and flatten it down if there's any if it's lifted anywhere and that's what's dragging on these buttons hopefully this will be enough just to clear that space because we're talking a few millimeters at best which okay Let's do some close-ups. So, this is the new panel in place. I think, around the edges, you can see where certain imperfections are. Um, yeah, I like that. For a cheap, for a cheap modification, that's not bad at all. I'd give that a go. And I think there's a stretch mark, but actually, where it sits into the console, it's actually a lot more hidden than I thought. It's actually the face that's more on show. I'm, I'm impressed with that. I like it. Very good. If you like this content and want to keep up to date, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button.